Hey golfers, Tony here with Reactionary Golf. Hope you've had a great Labor Day weekend. Unfortunately, our Bulldogs just did not do it. So kudos to Chris Doster and the South Alabama Jags. They put the beating on us. Um, that's a tough one. When uh, you get the, one of the, the biggest upsets in the history of college football from a percentage standpoint, and uh, that hurts. But hey, that's football, college football. Uh, that's just the way it goes. So another game next week came game with the Gamecocks. Uh, we'll see how it goes. So hey, talking uh, with my buddy Chris up in New York, he was talking about some people talking about how nine out of ten golfers or golf pros are using ground force reaction as the basis of their movement. Golf instruction is kind of like this 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 wave. It's like a the ocean. There's always waves kind of crashing in. Golf pros are always clinging on to and jumping on to the next wave. What's the newest bat? Who's coming out with what? It's a big marketing hype. Then all of a sudden they try to use science and to validate their claims and their marketing. Um, it's starting to get tiring, so if I get a little bit kind of err, uh, it's just because my wife's uh, version of Labor Day is uh, literally labors. But love her. Uh, we got a lot of stuff done around the house. So, more importantly, back to the golf. The ground force reaction that a lot of teachers proclaim from um, is being misapplied. There is no force from the ground. Ground's not going to swing this club. It's not going to make me move. It's just not going to happen. Now we have gravity. Gravity is negative 9.81 meters per second squared of descending acceleration. So if anything, the ground and the earth are always trying to pull me down. I have to kind of stay up. So ground force reaction is a misapplication of Newton's third law. For every action, there'll be an opposite reaction. In order for us to use the ground, and actually even kind of jumping into that, you look at the long drive guys, through impact, their feet aren't even on the ground. Are they trying to jump? No. It's just when you try to create that much velocity, your body is moving so fast and so hard, your arms and your body, that you kind of just are extending into through impact. So this extension actually lifts, because I got so much force going that way, it lifts my whole body up for the opposite reaction. So when, if you're trying to use the ground to get more distance, you have to understand that you have to put the force into the ground in order for you to use it. We got cleats on, okay? It gives us traction, we have friction. Now I can go ahead and, and work and swing the golf club to go ahead and put speed into the club head and deliver that mass into the ball. That is what's club head speed. That's what gives us our greatest distance. The ground itself is not going to do that. We can measure it, but the ground itself isn't adding anything to it other than what we put into it. So it's more of a mathematical um, way of assessing what we're actually putting into the ground. So we don't need to get into math. Great golfers. Rory played great this weekend. Um, He's not worried about ground force reaction when he's trying to go ahead and hit a bunker shot and get the ball close to the hole, so don't worry about that stuff. Now, that one out of ten guys that's not teaching ground force, that must be me, because ground force is a reaction. That's a good. It's ground reaction force. It's, it's the sensation of what I am doing. Where does that speed coming in from? It's coming in from here. So the faster I can apply that force this direction, guess what? Yeah, there's going to be a lot of ground force because I'm putting a lot of force down into that club and into that ball. So don't worry about trying to use the ground. If anything else, we're going to get into more of a whole body approach with the golf swing, which will give us more power. It'll actually give us more accuracy. Okay, And that's what we need on the golf course. We don't need the fastest swing and then have the ball go all over the place. So hey. Good talking with you guys. Keep on practicing all these drills we've been talking about. Don't worry about the science. It's the reason why I went back to school. Golf pros trying to teach you science. If you want to learn science, go back to school like I am. Then we can have a discussion on science. So.
good golfing. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.